you know. Um, is she pretty loving, your mother? Is she a pretty loving she's, woman? She is a very loving woman, but she's also a very... Uh, we've had our fights over the years. She, she was a hard... She was a very strict mother to, and, and quite violent as yeah. well. But we've, we've talked about it recently. We've, we've had words and we've, um, we've come to terms with it each year. Yeah? yeah? It's very nice. It's been very liberating. It's only happened in the last year of my life. Dude, that's funny. The same thing happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, I just had a big conversation with my mom the other day that was like, I didn't even know that I needed to have, you know? Yeah. And then she kind of, like, we both kind of realized some things and it was just, I mean, it was liberating, yeah. I, I realize now that she can't remember half the half, oh. maybe three quarters of it she can't remember it because you block things out everyone's the hero in their movie and you don't realize that you're a villain in many people's lives you know i have exes that are villains of mine and then i'm probably villains of theirs or yeah. you know what i mean where you think oh you fucked me over or whatever or, and so so for many years my mother was a villain at some stages in my life because of some physical abuse that i, I suffered you know and and but she since apologized. It was more the yelling. I was constantly being yelled at as a child. Yeah, I was yelled at before I was spoken to. Just con and I wasn't. I wasn't a bad kid. And I, and I thought I was a bad kid. And oh. I look back at it now, and I'm like, I wasn't a bad kid at all. I was a pretty well behaved kid. You know. Wow, yeah. that's funny, man. To hear you say that because that's exactly some of the same stuff. Yeah, like I think my mom didn't speak to me in a way that was loving first. That let me yeah. know I could be loved, and instead there was this other tone that made me unsure what I was, wh how I was felt towards. I would go from being, you're the best little boy in the world and you're a perfect child, that type of stuff, to you're a piece of shit. And it would wow. happen within an hour. And so even to this day, I still have like this arrogance about me where I think I'm the best comic or whatever like that. And then I think, I have fear before I go on stage. I'm like, I'm shit, I'm fucking hopeless. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Like, like I still have these highs and lows. Yeah, like I, 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 I could see I, that. I still don't feel comfortable with myself where I can hang and just sort of, I don't have to impress anybody or I don't have to show off or anything to have worth. And, you know, that, that all, it all stems from your childhood. It all, it all stems from that. You know, I dated someone who, who her whole thing in life was people thinking she was pretty or whatever. And if they didn't, then she was really angry. And so she would manipulate and try to bring down other girls around her and stuff like mm. that, you know what I mean? And then once I learned more about her childhood, I was like, I didn't want to go out with her anymore, but I sort of got it. Right. You know, I got that's what where, where she was always from a young age. That was what was told was valuable to her. You yeah. Know? And so... So I'll say this, both me and my brothers are very successful and we came from a very poor family, a very working class family. And, and I, I, will, I will say that my mother is the reason for our success.